We had one week uh, boot camp at Tours uh, in France. Uh, the preparation uh, has been good. Uh, we came here prepared, I guess, with the confidence we needed. Now, the first, I mean, the main objective, of course, is to go through the group stage and come to the playoff and taking the legend spot. Uh, we want since two or three years, I think, something like this. I think our expectations are pretty high. Um, we're trying to do step by step, but the truth is, uh, we really think that we can reach the, the legend statue, and then once again, it's going to be step by step. We're going to win. We're going to win, and we're going to win hard. Uh, we're going to get into it though, it's going to be G2 Esports taking on Flash Gaming, um, the French side taking on the Chinese side. It's going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, op on op. Everything rides on this right now. He's using the audio right now, which is absolutely the best move, and Kenny has no idea where to look. He's getting closer now, trying to see if he can wrap around. Perfect movement right now. Case absolutely outplaying Kenny, and that's going to be Flash Gaming picking up a seventh round here. Shox is going to start things out over towards B. He's actually going to get into the site choosing. He doesn't want to get smoked off with this AWP. Going to play a very narrow angle. There's no one even on the rotate yet. Apex just now getting started, but he's light years away and it might not matter. Shox playing a very close position, kind of like what Simple was doing in the last game that we just saw, and he's going to get one more kill. Picking up attacker, getting the flick in. Summer goes down. Shox is absolutely wrecking this round. G2. Gonna pick up a fourth round for sure. Just 10 seconds left here. Shots goes down. Great shots coming in from Louis, but it's it's just not enough here. The flashbangs are in and they're right on top of him. He's gonna get dropped by NBK. Just turning around and ready for more. The headshot on attacker and Nathan doing incredible work right now. Summer and Lovey, two versus three, but Henny gonna throw the flashbang and land right in his eyes, shutting him down. NBK. An absolute hero with a quad kill, leaving Summer in a one versus two, and he's gonna get shot down. That's match point, and G2 pick it up. They need to make a move any minute now. Actually misses that shot, but the no-scope comes in. Summer goes down, and there's the final one. Body to close it out, 16-11 here. Shock sending up a 25-23 on MBK overall. Just showing what experience is worth here, I think, for G2, even though they had a rough... We had a really tough uh, first match, I would say, to begin the tournament. It's been a long time, we didn't come uh, on LAN, so it was a bit weird, but he, we still managed to win, so it was a really good beginning. Have you seen my flick on uh, Vodka? Have you seen your flick at Apps? Absolutely. We saw the kill on the guy in mid when they did the boost here. Oh, yeah. But you, you didn't see it from the POV, we just saw it from his POV. Yeah. You just heard it. And then the H. You, you I know it, but I Yeah. And then I made the other one. 49 damage. 40? 49. It was really good. Uh, I was expecting him to pick up the all. So, can you cross your fingers? Uh, sprout, 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 I think it's gonna be space. Fuck you. I kind of oh. swim. Like I, I have a, a good uh, pinch one. It's like all the time. By the time I'm putting the chip, it's the chip. But I have a wrong. No, 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 but they're a bit like like uh, the Asians right now. They're a bit crazy, you know. Yeah, but Vega, we're much more used to what they're yeah, doing. So we, we know, know how they play. Yeah, Flash, sure. they just rush B, end up B. We're like just one smoke spawn and just just rush. Who's the smoke spawn? And they like they throw a smoke spawn and B. What's gonna happen in this game? I feel like we're gonna wreck two Frenchies. That's my feeling. We've we've had a discussion about shocks. Is uh, has been re-enabled. They've they've put him in a position to succeed. They've allowed him to 
maybe they're hooked enough about that anyway. Misfits are charging into the B-bomb site. So we'll talk about that later on. Kenny just quietly popping shots. They have no idea where he is. And that leaves Sean alone. The leader has to lead by example now, but we're asking too much of him on this occasion. One versus four, and the French are hype. So it seems to be back to the rushes, and they are simply clays in the eyes of Kenny. Got the long range shotgun shooting them out of the sky. Three more to find. He is hunting. Drone trajectory tells a story. Could he get an ace in this situation? No. Let's see what he's able to do in this round. A 1v3 is going to be very tough. That's a good start, though. Doesn't take any damage really from that. Oh, 1v2, and he's got nades here to eliminate some of the positions to play the, deduc the deduction game as to where these teams are standing. Now close to the site, eliminated almost all the positions. They have to be on the site. They're playing the trade game. Oh, no! They peek together into the spray and an unlikely round for shocks. No! Oh. Oh. But he's focusing on the site, so maybe it'll be Kayla. Ends up flanking body, doing what he does with two headshots, looking for the third. And it works out for G2. Match point for the French. Shazam is the last man standing now. It's just him and his deagle between these two players and the match. Trying to peek together, he resets the position. The reload may give his position away if it was heard. More grenades being deployed, forces his way through the smoke. But Apex will force a bullet into the face. 16 to 5, G2 crush Misfits on Cobblestone. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, as someone who predicted Misfits, I wasn't the only one. I was anticipating, hey, you, you know, we can get that really strong T side from Sean Gez. That approach could be what really creates an opportunity, an opening against the likes of G2. But G2, they were calm. They played their basics really well. Everybody was performing, especially Shox. And so 16-5, that's the result. And that is why G2 are very, very scary. You saw your feeling, Richard? You saw when the guy was timid? Le 2v2 là, je tue un mec qui est au sort du transfert. J'ai comme comme ton VP, comme ton VP. Mais euh, par contre je m'en prie des Ah, est-ce qu'ils ont si peu de tuiles Mais je l'ai dit hein, ils ont double la voix pour le round d'avant. Ça va être double la voix. <rire> ah, J'avoue, c'était pas crédible ah, du tout. J'avais vu que vous êtes abassé. And now it is time for the draw. Uh, this is what people have been enjoying, the live component of the draw, where absolutely nothing can go wrong. <laughs> and there it is, everyone's favorite upset team, Vegas Squadron, loving life right now after beating FaZe. Oh, uh, and uh, incredibly, uh, with an opportunity of being one uh, of the uh, first uh, names uh, to sort of go through. <laughs> so, Hello. Um, <laughs> everyone's watching. We've still got players yeah. and stuff in the studio as well watching. Everybody's having a look. And there it <laughs> is, it's G2. Oh. Good <laughs> job, good job. <laughs> Uh, MVK very happy with that one. He said I was dead to him after I predicted misfits, but he seems to be smiling, laughing over there. I don't know. I don't know why people would want to necessarily play Vegas Squadron right now. Can Vegas Squadron gatekeep yet another team ban in G2? Is it possible? Well, I'm in love with the storyline of Vegas Squadron and all the things that they've come so far to do and what they've done and all the potential that they have. But I think that storyline is going to come to an end, James, because I think the G2 is going to crush something. I think it's, it's going to be crushing. Very, very crushing. Very, very crushing. Incredibly stupid crushed. <laughs> okay. Kenny S is on the prowl, does not have rifle support apart from MBK and Long, and maybe he doesn't need it. He's got the smoke to escape into. Disappear. Spotted does. Oh, oh there you go. Dude. Let's go from MBK. Oh, Kenny S, yes. what is going on? There are flashbangs, but it's a T-side getting the kill so far, but look at them raining in for the CTs. Apex cleaning things out, and that round is done just like that. Man, making a kill, and there's an opportunity for G2 now, even though they only have some pistols. The pistols might be enough. We'll have to see Chopper now moving into the fray, and he'll get himself three quick kills, and that should be the end of the shenanigans here from G2. For the time being, Molotov's flying, I think, towards the barrel position. The flashbang is there. Chopper is going to get three kills out of this. How has he done this? Chopper, four kills, that is ridiculous! JR goes for the last ditch attempt here, now just Chopper, and one by one, they will be taken down. G2 somehow saving this game from the brink. Unbelievable. Talk about high pressure situations. I almost think that's the kind of game that G2 needed to get through. I think that that's great stuff for them moving forward in this. It was really like way more harder than expected as we were leading 12-3. And they managed to come back as, as overtime, but we did make the win, and I think that's the main uh, 
thing we have to remember. Then we will, of course, watch the demo and to be sure like uh, it won't happen again. But yeah, we feel really happy to, like the first objective has been done. We are 3-0, we are going to the group stage. Now the next one is to pass the group stage. We were expecting way more for, from ourselves at, in Krakow. I believe now we can give our best, like we have the weapons to, to do something great. I believe we have more to give. I think Klarna in, is in really good shape lately, probably the best Klarna we've ever seen yet. Okay. That's definitely not the easiest opening we could dream of, but it's gonna be. It's always kind of 50 50 with Clan 9 and us. Um, I think they beat us last time, so I guess it's time to revenge. It's a tough opening for us since we don't practice them oftenly and we don't <coughs> quite know how they're playing. But due to the fact that we're prepared and like we get, we're pretty good. Right now, I guess we can beat them and yeah, go go further in the tournament. Hey guys, you like our little Frenchy accent? Feel free to subscribe.